Hey, welcome back. Last time we took a look at how we could make an attendance sheet in Google Forms where the student just has to come along, scan the QR code, and it automatically populates into the um, into the teacher's attendance sheet. Now you see I've uh, played around a little bit with this, and one of the problems that has popped up is that if a student uh, still has the form, the completed form on their sheet, on their phone, and they refresh it, then it comes up with duplicates. So you see here, see these are the duplicates. I'll just get my phone out. I still have the tab open on my phone. So if I refresh this, we'll see on the screen that a new one pops up. So go and do it. There we go. There's another one. Um, so that's a problem. So first thing we're going to do is just we're going we're going to delete the well not delete we're going to um, find a way to ignore these duplicates but keep the original one. Something else we're also going to do in this is to determine whether or not the student was late to class. So let's uh, just start off just with a bit of a re recap of what we've done. So we've entered in our students in here. Then uh, we've taken the same students, the same um, IDs here, and linked them to this URL. This URL can be read from this QR code, and the students can um, where is it? Can scan that as they come into class with their own phone or with an old teacher's phone, perhaps, uh, and um, that will be them signed in. So. Here we're going to first, I think the most important thing is to tell if there's duplicates in this um, in this sheet. So to do that, uh, first thing we're going to do is we're going to take this value here and we're going to extract the date from this value and then put it next to the student's name all into this cell. And then we're going to use that and see if it doubles up anywhere. So to do that, all we need to do is type in day for, this is A2. Um, we'll need the month as well, and the year. Sorry, I can't see my screen, my microphone's in the way. Not my screen, my keyboard. And the year. Probably don't need the year if uh, you're not going to be doing this a little, uh, more than once. We'll also put in the... Um, student's last name. So we see there we've got the 21st of September 2019, Chucky Finster. We'll just drop that all the way down. Actually, yeah, we'll drop it down for now. I'll show you how to update that later on because when we submit a new form, then this would be overridden. But we can fix that later. So what we're going to do now is we're going to now check if this is a duplicate. To do that, we're going to count how many times this appears. We can see it appears twice here. And if it appears more than once, we're going to say that this um, is true. However, if it's the first uh, appearance, then we want it to say false. So this one will say false, even though there's two instances, because this one is the first one we see. This one will say true because it's the duplicate of this one. So we're going to count if this, uh, to, hit, to get these dollar signs, you can just press F4 on your keyboard. What that means is it locks it in place. Uh, for the next one, I'm just going to type it in because I already pressed um, out of that, that cell. So this one here says lock only the C column, but not the two row. So as we copy and paste this down, the two will change, but the C will always stay the same, even if we go left or right. We want to check if it's the same as this cell here, the one next to it. So as we go down, it's always going to be checking the one next to it. And we want to know if that's greater than one. In this case, it says false, but the third one here should say true, because this one is a duplicate of the first one. So if we highlight this, we can see that it's looking in the purple cell, that's the C4, and then it's going to look at everything above it. So from C2 up, uh, sorry, from C2 down to C4. And we should also get a false here, but a true for all of these ones. False for the first one, 
true for the rest of them. Yeah, let's add a conditional format into this. If we let's make a custom formula, we'll strike it out and we'll make it red so we know not to look at it. We want to know if d2 is true. That's all we want, but we want it to apply from C2 down to C. That means every cell down here. See if it's got true here, this goes red. Trues, all reds. To make it a little bit more um, reader, readable, we're going to change this to A2, and then all the way across to, let's make it E110, because I'm going to put something else in here. And this down here, the D2 true, I'm going to make this a dollar sign on the D. And that fills in everything. Click on done, and we're good. So if there's ever a true in here, that's if there's any any time a duplicate is in here, then it's going to cross it out. We don't have to look at it. And we're done with the duplicates. Next thing we want to do is we want to know if a student is late. This one's not too hard. We just want to know if they come into school later than 9 a.m. I don't know what time you want, but let's go with 9 a.m. Then um, we'll say that they're late. Otherwise, we'll say that they're present. To do that, it's an if statement. If the hour of A2, that's the cell over here, is greater than 9 a.m., then mark them as uh, late. Otherwise, mark them as present. See, I've changed this one to be 8.37 a.m., so this one, as we press enter, should say present. And the rest of them should say late. There we go. Done. So another thing you might want to do is you might want to say, hey, is this here late? If it is, then color it in. So we're going to click on uh, conditional format. You could just go straight to uh, text is exactly and then type it in. Let's make it from E2 down to E110. And if they are late, let's color it in a nice orange color. Say, hey, yep, they're late. You see that these ones haven't come in as orange. That's because this is second in order. If we were to put this up here, then they would become first priority. But we don't want them first priority. We want this first priority so we, that we don't focus on it. This present one is blank because I like to keep a lights out policy. If it's all good, then lights out. If there's a problem, then lights on. Again, just like we did with the red one, you might want the whole row to be um, colored in. So to do that, you'll need a formula. Custom formula is equals E2 equals late. And uh, let's, oh, we need to make sure that that E stays as E forever. And we'll make that from A2 up to A E110. There it is. Colored in if it's late. If it's present, nothing happens. But if it's late, it colors in. OK, so we've got a whole bunch of information there. What happens, though, if we add another line? So I'll just refresh my phone here. And we should see, there, we, there it is. Another one's just popped up, but it hasn't copied the formatting. So that's no good. We'll just delete that one. And um, I will reapply these. Which one was? Get rid of that one and push this one up. And I'll just put another one on there and get rid of this one. So now we've got two of the same. I'm going to uh, use a add-on called copy down. Copy down takes any formulas that are in row two and it copies them every time the form is resubmitted. So the formula is row two. You'll see there, it says master formula, do not sort. So do not sort this line. This is your default line. It's going to look into anything in this row, everything into this row. If it has a formula, then it's going to copy it. No formula there, no formula, yes formula, yes formula, yes formula. So these three are going to be copied down. Um, we 
um, do we want to paste with values? It doesn't matter. Save those settings. So now, when we refresh the phone, it didn't work. Oh, there it is. It did work. It just took a little bit of time. So what I'm going to do now is we're going to um, scan someone else. So we're not going to use Chucky, Kimmy, or Edwin. So head on over to here. Let's use Angelica. Probably my favorite character. So we'll scan it and we'll scan Angelica's. Where is it? There it is. Come on, scan for us. There we go. Head over to here and we should see Angelica pop up. Oh, I need to hit the button. There we go. And Angelica, there it is. And it's all um, pre-formatted. Everything copied, just as we wanted. She is late to school, so that's why it's in that orange color. Hope that helps. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching.